Greetings, Ashu Community Church. And greetings to everyone who is part of this service this morning. Mudimwa le shoko faje, mudimwa belele na mudimwa le pamishche al padimishche spatlo sarai. Re mule wogeka the gift of life, the blessing of life. Re mule wogeka gore chireleja majaji akamuka until today. Re mule mule re mule wogeka this opportunity. Yaku shera na kutiele jale njula gaye. May his name be praised. Lujeka mkaradi khona kayena. Khasi kalwa kala khona arena. Kwa rapotla lewa arena. Ke mga uwa mudimu. Ka ingewe isi mga uwa gaye. Ka gidu mele kwa ringewe rele mo. Rele part of this service. Rele lije li njula gaye. Today bile re shera li njula gaye. We are sharing his word. We are listening to this. We are part of this service. Because mudimu. Uri direje mgao, ke mgao wagae. Again, re lewe, or let me apologize for last Sunday's sound yasemoni. Hey, I forgot my microphone at home, we were in Pretoria and I had no choice. It was, I had to preach without it. Linkinele mazoko mezing. But today everything is back to normal. We are at home. Kamara wa mudi muki dumela wa redi lodi kuzama kamara muzi mamuta. Um, today we are going to. Or before get another message ngwa today let me. Eh kile wa kileka me laije rekre mara kwa kwege kanta tasi avi. The Bible study. Yeah, we are really well fed. Kamulo mwa mudi mu through. The mouth of or the vessel eleven thirty six have you made more a jolly pillow or shumi sham kangam dim real boga. Today, read look Jeremiah in the book of Jeremiah, chapter six, verse sixteen. I'm just going to read verse sixteen and verse seventeen. So that's where our message will be about what was happening in Judah. So God in this chapter is warning Judah to repent and then he tells them what to do in order for them to repent but they are rejecting God. We are tired. So I want us to learn from this huge mistake that Israel has done and um the consequences of rejecting God. So this is what we are going to get from this. Our message will be uh, about, or the, the theme for our message uh, will be um, go to the crossroads and ask the ancient path. So that would be um, <clears throat> the message we are bringing to people today. Uh, is about the uh, uh, Judah ye long or etlo hechitsela ya mudimu and then bachi heritsela chidingwe so mudimu ro mo bona gore go to the crossroad and ask for the ancient path this is the message that God is bringing to do to to Judah and it is the message that I'm bringing to you today Kore we na wo utule mti lenga mudi mu udirandi lokati le rao. God is saying, go to the crossroad and ask for the ancient path. Because the crossroad, if you know what crossroad is, Baba Randi lessons, I'm sure they already they understood me. Kimodi tsela di kopa na ngona. So did there are something like a cross, and then mudi mu aret amaya kona mu, and when you get there. You need to stop. You wait. And then you ask for the ancient path. So whoever you find there, ask. I'm looking for an ancient path. Where is it? And then the ancient path, uh, ancient path, and uh, and uh, maybe we likely because of um, the new 
way of living eh ka mo go dilo dileng ka ona a kere ba dilo di 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 modernizewa eh le ntjola modimo le modernizejwe eh bo kreste bo modernizejwe bo ruti bo mod nthongwe le ngwa ba ritse modern so sanje o tsama ile mabaka and then because of those things o tlogetse tsela ya modimo o thoma o dira dilo ka tsela ye those who came with this way of modernizing things bareng o tsanjo o phela ka yona o tlogetse ya modimo o phela tsela ya bo modern and modimo is saying go to the crossroad and ask for the ancient path because le ntjula modimo ga le fetoge ditsela tsa modimo ga di fetoge go tloga gale di bentse di le ka mogwano o le mma mo tlhabisa le ka mogwano o le ntjula modimo go tloga gale enje le bible yona e le mma mo tla e sa le yona bible yona e ga ona hore ka hore eh ba re mabaka mabaka a move eh o tshwantse le bible e fetoge re modernize bible re re ntshedilo tse leng gore batho ba di rate ka mogare ga bible re lokele tse leng gore di suta maphelo a batho that's how they modernize things di gei ke ba ruti di gei dina le kreke tsa tsona tse tsa hore modimo eh o destroy le sodoma le gomora god is against homosexuality ke tsa gale so we need to modernize things we need to modernize the bible we need to modernize the word of god things are being done in a modern way but god says to this nation the nation of israel ore yan mo makopa no nga ditsela le botjise tsela ya bogologolo go na le tsela ya bogologolo ye le ngore israel le latlile then god is saying go there ask for the road because the road is lost for you ka le sa itseba le latlile le tsere ditsela tsa lena le tlogetse tsela ya nnete tsela ya bolo ya bogologolo but if you still need to find that path go to the crossroad wait there and ask you will find the right path let's pray re tsene mo malaetseng wa le khono modimo wa go phela modimo wa go loka modimo wa tlalaka le rato modimo wa matlaka moka wena o laola dilo ka moka wena you have created everything father we exist because of you ke a rapela le motja jeng la le khono kere letso go la gao ga le bona gale in the service letso go la gao ga le bona gale ka magara ga maphelo a rena ntle le wena we are nothing we don't exist father all that we are is because of you we exist for you we exist to serve you we exist to live for you father make that clear in this sermon today speak to your people speak to your uh, to your sons and daughters father make this message to be simple clear so that we can all understand ga o thome ka nna molaetsa o go ruta nna o gone go ruta ba bangwe mo rena modimaka jwale ka moreri ga o bolle le nna pele o tla bolla le ba bangwe ke a rapela mo tjatjeng la lekhono gore papa ga ebe wena wa bolelang not me Father, real Boga. Amen. Let's go to the word of God in the book of Jeremiah chapter 6, 6 verse 16. Get jolo bala verse 16 and 17. And get abake jola pele ka malaija. Um, Thus says the Lord, stand by the ways and yung were stand by the crossroads and see and ask for the ancient paths where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your souls listen to the response 
of the people of God. But they said, we will not walk in it. Verse 17. And I said, watch man over you, saying, listen to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not listen. Mwedimwashe kufateli nchula gai. Mwere badile ngona ki mwedimu obo la les chabasa gai, the nation of Judah. The reason God is saying these things to the nation of good, uh, of Judah, God is saying to them, go to the crossroads or stand by the ways and see and ask for the ancient paths where the good way is and walk in it. Mudimur Moba Nauri Yeli Twerintela Siona Tamayang Le Muditela di Kopa Nangona Are when you get there, Libele Lang Libuchi, because Ralesa it's Eva Elila Terechi, Buchi Shang. Kore tsela ya bo golo golo ke ye ife. Ge le sna le ikereya. Are gona motse le nya bo golo golo is where the good way is. Tsela ya nnete gona mo motse le nya bo golo golo and el sna le ikereya walk in it. And at the results ke gore you will find the rest for your souls. Because motho e leng go ropela ka magare ga sebe gana khutjo. Mutwelo ngoro tukete tsela modimo ga ana khutjo ke phela ke bona batho ba ile ra ba tsebe modimo batho ba sa apoloswang they don't have peace because they are always afraid they think ba ka nna ba loiwa ho thoma gore nthongwe le ngwe diragalang ka maphelo a bona bona ba bona buloi why they have no peace eh is because ga bana modimo Genge be bana le modimo na matlatse wa re modimo ka go di moga boloi modimo ka go di moga dilo ka moka ba ka sphela ba tshogile ba tshaba boloi ba tshaba dilo tseleng gore eh lo tsa botlhoko tse o di ka ba diragalla mara motho a police le ge lo tsa botlhoko di diragalla wa understand that it is the will of god god has allowed this to happen ka bophelo mbaka and you praise god for everything that is happening because they lean on their own understanding. Banyaka u dira dilo ka bona, banyaka u ke pholosha, ge dilo o nna bothata. They are always blaming others, blaming buloi. Ga una khutjo mo go bona, mara modimo a re. Sorry. To bana ba gae, a re le tswiletse le nyaka o botsa o bolla le Israel Israel e tswiletse le nya modimo gore mo bona gore here is the solution the solution ke gore tsamayang le mo makopano nga ditsela le fitla le yeme le lebelle le botshishe gore tsela ya bogologolo e kai ena go nna motse le nya bogologolo ke motse la nnete le ngona a re tsiyang yona le sepela ka yo a tswela pele Listen how they respond to God. Worry, but they said, "We will not walk in it." Rekasike, reaogo abolela, but we won't. Rekasike. And then, verse seventeen, we did more okay, fine. Maybe kwa kwa kabuti ba tuvali. Ireke ba nyakele mutho elongori. Akaba wucha, akaba wana, because the watchman is sort of, is like a security who is guarding the city. And then when there is a danger coming to the, uh, to, to the city or the nation, the watchman will blow a trumpet to warn the nation, or, hey, wake up, prepare yourself, danger is coming, prepare for a war. So, Ariketa Leviela, the watchman, we longore o tla le guard he will guard this city against any danger he will warn this city against any danger le ge city or the nation itwe le motseleng the watchman will be there to preach 
the word of God, to deliver the message of God. Or wanang, literally, you are about to die of sin. You are about to fall in destruction. This is the job of the watchman. And then, listen to what they say. But they said, we will not listen. We will not listen because we love our sin more than we love you. We love our sin more than we love life. We would rather continue living the way we do. What was happening in the Israel be tshiletseleng ya modimo ba ne ba phela ka mogo bona ba nyaka ngo phela ka yona ba ne ba le eh ka mogare ga the idols they were worshiping different kinds of idols the idols of pornography the idols eh ore ba dingwana ba dingwana ba eh 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 ba di thobalano bana ne ba tsenna di thobalano ka mo ntlega le nyalo and it was just normal nobody cares anymore it was just something that they needed to do it is okay i mean times has changed au tshwanele na kwela ya old testament mo modimo a be a reng gore ko morao rao mo modimo a be a reng he motho a ka kereya a tsene ke thobalana ka ntla le nyalo o tshwantse a gatlwe ka maswika something like that are bare not anymore it is a norm it has to happen di lo di tshentshitse le ntjela modimo ga le sa tshwana le nako yela re a le fetola ra le dira gore le suterena this is how judah lived and god is saying i am warning you what you are doing is wrong le tlogetse tsela ya ka le ntlogetse le tsheri tsela tshe leng gore ga di ntumishi di tsela tshe leng gore they contradict my will but they did not care judah the people of god did not care they did as they will they did not care about the word of god anymore they did what was Uh, suitable for them they lived in sin they loved their sin more than they love god and when god tried to warn them they said to him we will not do what you say masiana manyane there was a pit ye long worry go bo utuka mollo bo shogole motshare and as a way of worship ne ba ya ba latlhela masiana ale ka mola ele di sacrifice ba worshipa those idols ba sena na ko ya modimo ba dira ka mogo bona ba nyaka nka ona modimo ga gala ba re we will not do and a god is because of his love he is warning his people mudimuru mo go bona gore fetolantse la tsa lena because the way you are living you are heading for destruction but they don't care why because they love their sins more than they love god this is the nation ye long gore mudimu o intshitse kwa egepita cha ba bona mudimu a ba direla metlolo when the pharaohs were after them ba bona mudimu a wila le watle ba feta and when the pharaohs tried to escape through the same path ye long gore ba escape ile ka yona ba palela because it was heavy for them gore di carry tsa bona di sepile e ka mogare ga le watle mo fase mo elong gore metse a fetja o buleya ena modimo a tswalla le watle the egyptians ba e khwa ka moka ele a way of god protecting them ba bone modimo in the wilderness mo desete mo sna metse modimo a dira le swika gore le ba fe metse ba anwe 
bas na di jo modimo aba fama na e long gore le bo ntata bona za nka baaji they have seen god doing all these wonders i speak of this god way long gore he traveled with them all eh uh, uh, all the time in this journey ya bana ba itswere ba ibile during the day ibe a tswela jwele ka liru ne ba bona liru le le mopele ya bona guiding them where to go they followed and then in the night ne ba bona mollo o ile ngore o bo ba guide where to go oh my lord these are the people ba ile ngore ge mmozizi a ba etswa go thabeng a tshwere melao ya go tswa go modimo a ba a ba fa yona eh na ba responda ka gore we whatever god says we are to do we will do Exodus chapter 19 verse 8 but whatever god says we should do we will do again in Exodus 24 verse 3 When Moses went and told the people all the Lord's words and laws they responded with one voice everything the Lord has said we will do These are the people that got rescued from the hands or the slavery in Egypt in the wilderness when God gave them His words, his law, they responded by saying, "We will do everything that God says we are to do." They loved God because God was with them all the way where they camped. During the day, the cloud was always there to guard over them, and then in the night, Eh uh, the tabernacle of God ibe ibe you were in the center uh, of the camp mo le ngore their tents were surrounding the tabernacle and the doors of their eh uh, their tents will face the tabernacle that every time they leave their temples they get out of their uh, uh, their tents they will see the tabernacle of God and reminded that God is the center of their lives they worshiped god they loved god they sacrificed for god their lives were centered eh mohumudimo there was nothing they worshiped than god himself but now this very same nation the nation that worshiped god the nation that uh, taught their families their children the ways of god the nation that dedicated their lives in god everything they did was about god now they have turned against god they are worshiping other idols they are worshiping other gods and then they have no time for god they have no love for god anymore they were worshiping uh, the idols of money worshiping money worshiping things they had things uh, the properties they gore modimo o be a itlaka morao wa dilotsheo dilotsheo di tlapela ya modimo they had no time for god and they don't have love for god anymore they are doing what did they want or what they wish they don't care about god anymore modimo ga bolela ka sebe because ne ba phela ka mogare ga sebe mo e leng gore ne ba sana nako ya modimo listen verse 7 mo chapter 6 ya jeremiah ere as well keep keeps its water fresh so she ke- she keeps fresh her wickedness violence and destruction are head in her sickness and wounds are o- ever before me this was the situation in judah gore ka mo gone ba rata se be sa bona ka gona 
ne ba tshwara le se diba se ileng gore se khipa metse ya sona fresh gore se bi be se pela se le fresh ka mogare ga this nation of juda gore se bi it was a norm it was an everyday thing they did not have time for god that is why ge modimo a be a le ka o ba hona they did not care they only did what pleases them they only did what they was right in their own eyes they did not care for god any anymore this is the nation ye leng gore e nyaka o dira dilo e modimo e ghetile gore e ba mo phelele mara nao ba tjuletsela nya modimo ba dira dilo ka tsela ya bona modimo ga sa le botlhoko ka maphelong a bona ga ba sana nna ko ya modimo ene ntwe botlhoko ke gore ga e sa ga e se tshaba fela even the leaders the spiritual leaders in Judah they were part of this they were involved in this violence and corruption they no longer preached the word of god they no longer preached the truth they no longer guided the nation to the path of god they only did what pleased them verse 3 at chapter 6 of jeremiah shepherds and their flocks will come to her they will pitch their tents oh no 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 this is not what i want to Oh verse 14 Oh verse stating ere for from the least of them even to the greatest of them everyone is greedy for gain and from the prophet even to the priest every one deals falsely This is what God is saying gore ga o sana papano ga o sana muruti ga o sana mo prista ga o sana moeta pilar ka mokana bona ba tswana they are in corruption they do whatever eh pleases them they do things for self gain le ba ruti ga ba sa ditsena ba profeta ga ba sa ditsena ga ba sana taba le lentjula modimo ga ba sana taba le ditsela tsa modimo they are doing what pleases them you come to a prophet wa mmotsa re monna eh kena ka o khetse mamma mamma here is the money because the prophet is looking to gain whatever you present before him wa khetsa ga sa sa maetse la modimo o tsamaetse la gae tsile le ngori e benefit a yena le mpa ya gae and then listen to what the to the teachings je ba prophet ba ne ba di fa eh ba thu verse 14 ere they have healed the brokenness of my people superficially saying peace peace but there is no peace message u chenchitse ga ba sa rera eh the message of repentance le ga batho ba itswa tseleng ba phela ka mogare ga sebi ba profita ga ba sa rera nnete gore bona ye o tsela o itswereng leads to destruction you are going to find yourself in hell repent and do what god says you are to do they are not saying that they are telling unbelievers but to bailong gore sinners wicked people gore bona god wants to bless you god wants to give you money god wants to make you rich god wants to protect your family or god has protected your family there is peace i see peace in your life i see mudimwari they have healed the brokenness instead of telling the people of god the truth gore ba kwenete e ba gagole dipelo tshe ba gone go sokologa ba tjeletse ba tjeetse la modimo ga ba sa dira jwale they only tell them about the blessings they tell them about money they tell them about getting rich they teach how to get rich not how to repent and live for god they tell them that they teach them how to get rich they motivate people every sundays they motivate people gore batho ba tswa ka mokrekem ba fila good it is no longer about god and repentance it is about people feeling good about themselves this is the message 
Oma prophet, and then you know what God says about peace. In the book of Isaiah chapter 48, verse 22, or there is no peace, says the Lord, for the wicked. Telling the wicked, Hore, peace, peace. They, God, God uh, has given peace in your life. God wants to give you peace. God wants to bring peace in your own family. When there is no peace, this is what God says. For the wicked, there is no peace. When the wicked has passed away, they say, may his soul rest in peace. When they know there is no peace for the one who died not in the Lord. Because if you die eh, unsaved, they know where you are going to hell and there is no peace in hell. But the priest are putting it as if even a wicked person, the death of a wicked person, pleases the Lord. There is nothing like hell. This is what they teach. When I, God, hate the death, I don't like the death of an unbeliever. I cannot give peace to an unbeliever until they repent. They will find peace in their repentance. And when God tried to warn them, they don't want to listen. And they are not even ashamed of their sins. Verse 15, were they ashamed? Or were they ashamed because of their abominations they have done? It's a question. He's asking himself. And They were not even ashamed at all. They did not even know how to blush. Therefore, they shall fall among those who fall. At the time that I punish them, they shall be cast down. They, oh, says the Lord. They are just enjoying their sins. They are not even shy. They are doing all these things. They are enjoying their sin. They are deep in their sin, sinful lifestyles. And they don't care. It is the daily thing to them. It is a norm. This is what the so painful and at this time God is trying to warn them because God is busy preparing Babylon verse 3 shepherds and their flocks will come to her they will pitch their tents around her they will pasture each of his place Prepare war against her. Who is her? Judah. Arise and let us attack at noon. Woo to us for the day declines. For the shadow of the evening lengthen. Arise and let us attack by night and destroy her palaces. For thus says the Lord of hosts, cut down her trees and cast Cut, cast up a siege against Jerusalem. This is the city to be punished in whose midst there is only oppression. The way Judah was deep in her sins was rotten because of her sins. God is planning destruction is 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 coming up with a way to destroy this nation of Judah. Mudimware, God is raising the Babylon the Babylonians or the Babylon to uh, Babylonians to come and destroy Judah. This is the way God is punishing this nation of Judah. And when he wants the nation of Judah, the danger is coming. Repent, then 
I will be merciful to you. They don't want to listen to God. They don't want to repent. They say to him, we will not walk in the path that is right. We will not do as you say. We will not listen to you. This is what they are saying. But God is saying, I am preparing Babylon. Babylon is coming. He is going to destroy you. Verse 9, Ekalosa, the way Babylon is going to destroy Israel. That says the Lord of hosts. Then oh, they will thoroughly glean as the vine, the remnant of Israel, pass your hand against like a grape gathered over branches. In other words, Hebolelaga, glean, glean, Hebolelaga, Hebanababu, Naku Israel. Mara wa ulema. Heba na babuna. Mutuwe ilu mungachi mubi asa tuwa nagi gore. Awune ntuwa ngule ngwe. Biaswa nji afele atlokela. Some of whatever ibuna ngu. Gore badidi. Batle bakone kutopa. Lewa na batle bakone kuja. So badidi heba na batopa whatever is left. They were cleaning. So God is saying. Gore he's comparing. Because this is the language. Uh, Judah and Israel understood. Here, uh, the, the Babylonians will clean, will thoroughly clean uh, Judah as someone is cleaning in the vineyard. As a poor person is cleaning in the vineyard. So they understood what God was talking about. Because when they clean, never make a show what how shall I say, the cleaners. So, even Babylonians will do the same. They will destroy everything in Judah. They will destroy everyone in Judah. Obviously, we know what there will be the remnant for the uh, for the purpose of God because Christ also from the nation of Israel. So everyone will not die. There will be uh, those who are chosen. Uh, to, co to carry on the purpose of God. Mara, God is saying to them, when this Babylonian comes, oh, it will be disastrous. God, they will destroy everything. They will destroy everyone. They will destroy even your trees, your gardens, everything that you worked hard for, everything that you are worshipping, these things that are so precious in your eyes, uh, uh, to a point these things that you're worshipping when they come they will destroy everything the cars that you're worshipping the money that you're worshipping the houses that you're worshipping businesses that you're worshipping God is saying when they come they will destroy everything and you will be left with nothing but here's the solution Go back to the crossroad. See and ask for the ancient path. Where the good way is and walk in it. And I will give you rest. But when they answer, they say, we will not walk in it. God is saying this because the ancient path is the path that they used to walk. I remember the love for the word of God. We were excited to go to the Bible studies, to, uh, to church, listening to what God says about us, about our lives. How God guides us, what God says we should do, how he says we should live. And then this nation has Come to a point, my long worry. Eh, Bahu deal, Bahu legimu dimu, Korabahu deal to a point, my long worry, by Pona Garbona, Bagaru di Maramudimu. Hona lava crest and a guelore, Kidumelore, Baba Nova crest, the Manalo, Wola of Itanamo, especially when God has blessed you with everything that you need. When you have money, when you have businesses, when you have houses, when you have achieved Ufila Rufitile, Ufila Wore, I have done this on my own. I don't need God. 
and then you start doing things your own way. Your corruption it tena as corruption is the problem in this country. He will fit tender she and then no. Who can be two hundred thousand motor fling? Because you have it. God has blessed you. You take that money that God has blessed you with. Oh, but lady corruption neka yona oro kona udira ukrea more tenders, more businesses. Bao wicha gore monna no ho ka no sacrifice ang wana gao o ro ka no eh tlo wa ono ka le diphatsi tsa motho eh business ya gao e tla gola those who call themselves christians by dira gore di kreke di gole motho ga dira kreke ba motho ano monna for you to have a mega church o pelise chaba so so shala murao o dire di million every sunday monelo wa gao o be di million eh the college was a matron, what's a megadi Lamborghini, what's a megadi helicopter, what's a megadi private jet. Oh, my lord, hi, what you know, come on, car, mutu, I pitch a mu creste, mutu, I pitch a muruti, hachabodras cavello, Ochia muana mutu, a mulaya, a manga teddy paze, or out with super la moyo, na, calti wing arake crege, or matuba honeroca. It is happening. I'm not just saying this. It is true. Just like corruption, wickedness was there in Judah. Today in this country, we are facing the same thing. Holy Bella corruption. Oh, government arena. You feel like everyone is corrupt. You just see corruption. How sana eh musho o berekela motho musho o berekela malapa ona o berekela dipotla tsa bona those who are in leadership they only care about their friends their families and themselves they don't care about the poor people out there all this is because of the sin in this country ke bonye nwe atikele ba bolla re muruti eh ke turkeng ke roman catholic Onye je murudi. Akitoro otuwa Zambia, otuwa kaya. Ndere baba nchi je mupik je mbakisana. Homosexuality. It is accepted. The modern way. Kama garega Christian. Akitoro kita reke Christian ni tuwa reke ing. But the true body of Christ. There is no such in the true body of Christ. Kia wanana kwe wareng. They are modernizing everything. Tsela mo di moe thata a hetsa maike ba bantshi so bona ba bona gore eh ba modernize tsela mo di mo gore le homosexuality ya mogale ke tselela o buleya ela mo di mo ring it leads to destruction and when we try to warn them he re tsaya o bolla nete gore hey ye o le tshwereng ga se ya modimo modimo di rile monna le mosadi ke batho ba ba kreditileng ke modimo ge o thoma o ba le eh monna le monna gore eh bo gay le bo lesbian a isa le tsa modimo tsheo that is why he punished Sodoma le Gomorra he destroyed Sodoma le Gomorra modimo ba ya bontsha gore i hate homosexuality mara ba re ke dilo tsa gale tsheo Let's modernize things. Let's modernize the word of God. The word of God. It is hard to follow. I re modernize ngo re. Batu ba kona we rata. Batu ba kona we amgela. Ikono amgela ga dipelon chabatu. They are trying to modernize the word of God. They are trying to modernize the ways of God. Bala keri ili. Ki ropola when this nation, South Africa, was led by God. Even our leaders, they acknowledged God as their God. Oh my God. The president will call uh, unto people, let's pray to God. During that time, I remember in the village that I come from, in the villages, we will pray for rain praying to god acknowledging gore modimo ke ena re fa mpula we will pray gore modimo re fa pula and while we are still praying o tla bona maru a thoma go gobokana ena ba tla re mo rena ba re ke ulukile a re because the rain is about uh, to fall and indeed 
in few hours pula etlana e la re gopetseng god will bless us kapula and then ratwa ka magare ga drot but today ge ile gore dilo tsa mohuto di a diragala ga o sna pula but o go gopola go ga e kona mo na le tamo le leng ka monte eh ga motse eh ga bo sna pula last time ba biditse o during drot eh ba biditse chaba and then se chaba sa sa go bukana go letamong ba re there is a snake that lives in that dam because it is big there is a snake or mammoth that stays in that that lives in that dam and then ba la thala di chelete le di present wa naka mo la gara ga letamo worshiping that snake wa go pela no ga hore e ba nisetse pula re latlile tsela ya modimo ga modimo ga sa le modimo modimo ba re follow this idol se le ngore ga dikase dikase di re direle selo and then in the education system i remember ge nne re gola religious was a subject ko schoolong the bible e be e rutiwa was part of the syllabus ne re rutiwa le ntjo la modimo re sa oh my lord re sa le go primary modimo ba introduce wa to bana re rutiwa re tsebe gore everything that we have e tswa go modimo modimo ke yena the center of our lives but not anymore religious itlusi jo go dikolong and by so doing ba ntjitse modimo ka magare ga dikolo that is why there is no respect go dikolong there is so much corruption there is so much disrespect bana ga ba sa thompa ma teacher bana ga ba sa thompa ma tswadi wa lwewa wa bola yona go dikolong Hausa na respect, hausa na order because mudi munchijwe ka magare ga dikolo, mudi munchijwe ka magare ga education eh, educational system. Ga o lebelela, ba ruta bana dilo tse e leng gore, they are against the word of God. They are part of the syllabus. Ba ntjitse dilo tsa ntwa bo tlokwa, which is the word of God. And then ba loke tse dilo tse e leng gore, ke se bi di gatlalo le ntjo la modimo, bana ba rutiwa o master beta ba sale go schooling. Ka ra ba sale ka primary. Ba re ba le ka ba prepare ba thibela dilo tsa di rape and we know what god is against that that is against the word of god ba ntjitse le ntjola modimo ka magare ga skolo ba loke tshe dilo tshe le ngore di gatlhano le ntjola modimo and we expect god to be happy about those things oh my god re tjule tse le nya modimo re latlhagile south africa That is why our economy is so collapsing quickly so collapsing because God is against us. Re latlile tsela ya modimo the wrath of God is against us. Re lwala malwetsi a a a a a a o le nna re sa kushishi malwetsi a o fapana malwetsi a botlhuku. Mara palla ke go bona we are so blind to see gore re tswile tseleng ya modimo God is giving a solution here or go back to the crossroad wait there seek and ask for the ancient path that's where the right path is this is the solution that god is giving to us or south africa go back to the ancient path go back to the crossroad wait there watch and ask for the ancient path and in that ancient path there is the right path and you will find peace if we want peace in this country because ba eske boletse gore batho ba ilong re ba phela ka magare ga sebe nation ye long gore e phela ka go dira ditsela tsa yona e sentja modimo because we are leaning on our own understanding as a nation motho mongolo mo dira so se leng right ka matlong a gae just like Judah did god is saying the solution is to go back to the crossroad and ask for the ancient path But we are saying ka midiro ya rena we will not walk we are saying we will not walk in that right path by worshiping uh, the spirits of the dead by worshiping uh, the wealth or the money whatever we are worshiping by worshiping a uh, success and the properties of this world by worshiping dilo tshe leng gore tirintsha motseleng ya modimo 
We are saying we will not walk in the right path. We are just like the nation of Judah. And then when God says, I have sent you the watchmen, those who preach the truth, those who want to see people living for God, those who love to see people go into heaven, we are saying to, to, uh, to those people, we will not listen because today if you go out, preach the gospel to the sinners, they will tell you, sad things. So, they will tell us, or they tell us, or gospel is not it's so hard for us to understand. We don't want such. deliverance. the gospel. blessings which God says it is not gospel at all. They need you to tell them about uh, themselves, about what God wants to give to them. Heaven ala matata ba nakadi quick fix. Ntapele ala kiwe mufasi and then ki delivered. Matata vili leka lapen lag. There is no such. That's when they deceive you, they tell you those things because they are deceiving you. There is no such. Poverty has a solution. I'm not one of the matter. What are enough? Are enough? I say, I'm a Matata za maishi kurubi ya matowe le mufasi. Una kanuru hotu you are delivered. No. There is no such. They are deceiving you. Canceling. We cancel you. Kali nchula mudimu. Watsema kuri mudimu rusu anje. Wanale mwana naka wale pele juang. Kwari. Lita lo kwa nova le kujwe kama la peng. Because le nyalo ke la mudimu. Opelo wamo tuke wa mudimu. So rusu anje repela kama kwa mudimu arin repela kwa yona. Kwari lita kwa na kupela kwa kujwe. There is no peace for the wicked. You will never have peace. So the only solution to the uh, uh, to whatever problem you have, God says, go to the crossroad. Ask for the ancient path. That's where the good way is. And you will find peace. You need peace, go to the crossroad. You need peace, Christ is the only one who can give you peace. Christ is saying, all who are weary and heavy laden, come to me and I will give peace. We are lost. South Africa is lost. Holy man, like Christianity today, Christianity, there are people who have crept in, in this uh, religion. Now we are Christians. We are the family of God. So the cults, the wolves has crept in claiming to be Christians and they are not because those who are Christians are walking the path of God. Here God is saying, repent before distraction reach you because distraction is on the way. Punishment is on the way. What you need to do is to repent. Walk the right path. Bwela morao. O hopu le. Ghe une upoloswa. Ghe une unale rato fo mudimu. Ghe une unale rato fo di tila cha mudimu. Ghe ubo otabe la linchula mudimu. But they say we will not. Because they love their greed. They love their violence. They love all these things. That are against the word of God. Just like it is in South Africa. You go out and preach the word of God. As a watchman. They will. Torture you. They will fight you. They will be against you. Because they don't want to listen. To what you're saying. Why? Verse 10. It will worry. To whom shall I speak? And give warning. That they may hear and behold, their ears are closed, and they cannot listen. Behold, the word of the Lord 
has become a reproach to them. It has become a reproach to them. They have no delight in it. Because And this is what they say to the prophets of God. Isaiah. Let's go to the book of Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30. Verse uh, 9 to 11. Record Mudimoreng. Are for this is a rebellious people, false sons, sons who refuse to listen to the instruction of the Lord. Who says to the seers, you must not see visions, and to the prophets, you must not prophesy to us what is right, speak to us pleasant words, prophesy illusions, get out of the way, turn aside from the path, let us hear no more about the Holy One of Israel. This is the nation that we are in. They don't want to hear the truth of God. They don't want us to preach the truth. We would rather give them illusions. We would rather preach to them lies. They know they are lies, but they love lies because lies makes them feel good. They love it. That is why they say, preach to us lies. We enjoy lies. We enjoy illusions. Don't come to us with the word of God. Don't come to us with the truth of God. We don't want the truth of God. Turn aside. Do what pleases us, not what pleases God. But let us hear no more about the Holy One of Israel. We are tired of hearing God. We want to hear you. We want you to motivate us. Make, make us feel good about ourselves. That's what we want. Unfortunately, this is the nation that we are in and God says go back to the crossroad ask for the ancient path where there is truth and you will find rest for your souls people have no rest because they have left the path of God you are listening to me today as I am preaching this message all those who claim to be saved this is what God is saying Saved and unsaved. This is what God is saying. Those who claim to belong to God, if you were ever excited about the word of God, God says, go back to the crossroad. Ask for the ancient path. That's where the right path is. And you will find rest. Because you will not have peace. So if you want that peace, Remember those days when you were excited about the word of God, when the word of God was not a reproach to you. But because of your sins, the word of God is a reproach to you. When it is preached, it is going to be like that. And if you are like these people who says, we don't want to hear the word of God, the truth of God anymore. Don't preach to us what is right. Don't preach uh, to us the, uh, the true word of God. Lie to us. Give us illusions. We want to hear from you, not from God. We want to, to be motivated. We want to be made feel good. I want to feel, uh, to, to leave the church feeling good about myself. If you are one of those, then you need to repent because here God is calling for repentance. Repent and do what is right. Bwela mo makopa nong aditela. Budi setela ya bo holo holo. He mudi mo abe o polosa. He o bo tabela linchula mudi mo. Repent. Oroto kona kubela mutsela nyabni. God is restoring you. 
Don't be like this nation. Do what is right. Repent. I will not walk in your path. I will not listen to whoever you send to preach to me. Don't be like this nation of Judah. Do the right thing. Repent and do what is right. God is calling for you to repent. God wants to restore you. Don't say no to God this morning. When God speaks to you, listen to God and do what is right. According to what lady abortion, J70, he does not care about that. As long as you genuinely repent, he is ready to welcome you home. Repent and live by his truth. Live according to the word of God. You are here for God. You are in this life for God. You are the purpose God brought you in this life is because he wants you to live for him. Repent and live for God. This is the message from God today. Repent and live for him. Go back to the crossroad. Ask for the ancient path. And that's where the right path is. And you will find the rest in your souls or for your souls. You can choose to be like this nation and say to God, I will not walk in your path. I will not listen to Ramuroga. I will not listen to Ntatesiavi. I will not listen to the pastors that you send. I will only listen to Wambojang. good. It's up to you. I will only listen to those uh, who preach to please me. They don't tell you the truth. They tell you, worry, peace, peace, peace. God wants to bless you with one, two, three. God wants to. They don't tell you, worry, the way you are living. God is not happy about your life. He is going to destroy you. He is going to punish you. Repent before destruction come to your life. And then when we come and preach a uh, distraction, worry, the way you are living, you are heading for destruction. Repent and do the right thing, live by God's will. You hate us. You chase us out of your home. Don't be like those who are doing that. Live according to the word of God. God is ready to forgive those who genuinely repent, those who love him, those who recognize their sins and leave them and go back to the crossroad. Seek for the right path, the ancient path. And those who want peace, the peace of God in their heart. This is what you need to do. Repent and God is ready. Because there is no partiality in God. will not punish you because of that. God will punish you. God, you are heading for destruction. Do the right thing. Sokologa, 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 Sokologa. You will find peace for your souls. May the good Lord bless you.